Hello, my name is Teacher Leela. Today we are going to discuss virtual whiteboard activities that you can use in your lessons. Whiteboards have been found in physical classrooms for years, and it's a very useful learning device. But how can we use it in the virtual classroom? I'm going to show you how to incorporate some whiteboard activities into your online class. First, let's talk about a vocabulary activity you can use in the virtual classroom called Pictures in Pieces. It can be used with students of all ages. You start by drawing a fragment of a picture for the students to see. Have them try to guess what it is. If they don't know, draw another fragment and continue to do so until a student can correctly guess what the picture is. This can be somewhat time consuming, so you wouldn't want to do it for every vocabulary word. Instead, you could do it as a fun activity to start or end the class and try to use vocabulary words that the students have already learned. For more advanced students, you can have them try to use the word in a sentence after guessing what the word is. So let's look at an example. So here we have our whiteboard screen up. So let's say that our word is cup. So we would first start by drawing a small piece of the picture and see if the students can guess what the picture is. So then we would continue to draw pieces of our cup until the students can correctly guess the word. Now let's talk about an activity you can use for dialogues or stories. This activity is called Disappearing Story. In this activity, you show the students a dialogue or a group of sentences. You then have one student read the material. After they finish, you can choose two to four words to erase or cover up. You can cover words using the drawing function within Zoom and select a square. After you cover some words, have a second student try to read the text, filling in the missing words as they go. You can then cover more words and have a third student try. You can continue this for as long as you please or until someone attempts to say the text with no word showing. With the wonderful Allo 7 courseware, we already have great stories to use, so you don't have to worry about creating your own. So let's look at an example. So here we have a GE story. So we would have the student read the story, the sentences here, and then we can use the square function to block out some of the words. So let's see what that would look like. So we would select the square, and so then we would cover just two to four words, and then try to have the student read the sentence again. And we would continue covering up words until the student reads the sentence with none of the words showing. Another similar activity is called zebra story. For this, you also use a text. After one student reads, you draw parallel diagonal lines through the text. You then have another student try to read. After that student finishes, you draw diagonal lines in the opposite direction and then let another student try to say the text. Finally, you draw vertical lines through the text at which point everything will mostly be covered. Then have the students try to say the text again. So let's see what this would look like. So here again, we have our GE story. So we would start by having the students read the story and then we would start to draw our diagonal lines and try to have them read again. And then after that, we would go back the other direction with diagonal lines and let another student try to read the text. And then we would go across the text like this and try to see if the students can read the text with none of the words showing. A fun activity you can use with older students who recognize parts of speech is story gone bananas. This will be familiar to anyone who has played Mad Libs as a child. In this game, you have students read a text. Then you choose a part of speech, a noun, adjective, adverb, and have the students identify all of the words in the text that are the same part of speech. So erase or cover those parts of speech and have the students choose one word from the same part of speech and read the story again using that one word in all of the blanks. So let's see what this would look like. Okay, so here we have our story. So let's say that the student chose uh, the part of speech verbs. So we would come through and we would cover up all of the verbs. And we would then ask the student to choose a word, another verb, to fill in the blank. So let's say that they just chose the word jump. 
So for every verb that we have covered here in the story, they would then use the word jump. So it might be kind of funny and not make a lot of sense, but it's still a fun activity where they can practice using parts of speech. So these are just a few activities that you can do with a whiteboard in a virtual classroom. What ideas do you have? I would love to hear about it. Thanks for watching.